Hey guys, what's going on? As you're reading this video or watching this video, it is summertime for me, but not really. Watch until the, the very end, what I mean by that. But this video, I am mean, going through all my years in middle school, how they went. I had some confusion, and maybe this can help you someday. But, but sit back, relax, and enjoy the show of a lifetime. <clears throat> so in middle school, in middle school, uh, I was very nervous. I was very, very excited since there was people there, and I wanted to meet new people. But it went everything was in sunshine and roses. So uh, yeah, then I met this dude named Noah. He's kind of a rock guy. He listens to. A, Iron Maiden, Metallica, you name it. Then it was in my seventh year when I met Sam. Now, Sam, he's a YouTuber fellow like me. He uploads videos for the funds of it. Um, doesn't even get that much, but anyways. My first year in middle school, yeah, you will be feeling some nervous and all that, but you'll sit, you'll fit right in. Don't worry about that. But then you will have some of those feelings like, oh, I don't want to go to school. I'm nervous. I can get, I can see that, but you got to go to school. And what happens if you don't? You won't meet new friends and all that stuff. But I'm not, I'm not your parents or anything. But anyways, then what was in my ear? I'm sorry. It's been a while since I did this because I'm not very good at saying words, but anyways I met Noah. Noah was a chill guy. Um we we were like we were having this rock band battle, like just like naming all of rock bands. Like, oh, I bet I know every single rock band than you do. I'm like, alright, bring it on. Metallica. Me easy. Iron Maiden, Slipknot, all that band, and he got at least 10, because he was a nerd at Team Rocks. But, anyways, it was like October, right? That was October. I was at, with uh, Trick or Treating with my friend Alan Diaz. He's a YouTuber just like me, but he barely posts anything. But then, I was going against a skeleton, a Fortnite skeleton. We were trying to recreate uh, Cobra Kai, the Cobra Kai one for Skeleton. Then, and yeah, I went from there. Uh, November, either it almost was the best or the least best Thanksgiving ever. At that time, math was very hard because I was new. Then. Sorry, my mic cut out. Then, yeah, I was just getting used to it. I was meeting a lot of friends, all that stuff. Then it was a very chill November. But around Thanksgiving, I don't know if this was, like, the 7th grade or the 6th grade. But I ate some turkey. I had a chill time with my family. Watched football and all that stuff. But... I can tell it wasn't very good. Um, my sister had kids over. Um, we were think eating Thanksgiving. <gasps> then it turns out I have I had the flu the next day. I wasn't even that good. Oh, in um, and you know what? The sixth grade year was the perfect year for me. Now on to the seventh grade. Seventh grade, yes. <laughs> You're just like me. I don't want to be near any school when you're on your tournaments, uh, games. I can understand that, but some things just got to be done. I just use that cook phrase from Texas. Don't worry. Um, then seven, seven was kind of difficult, but yet again, I fit right in. Then... December, both December, 6th grade and 7th year, 
sixth grade. I got a lot of stuff. Um, and yeah. It went from there, got some gifts, I got some cookies, I got some PlayStation cards, I got some games. What the good? That was the best Christmas I ever had. But, all that aside, <clears throat> March, on my birthday, we, I was celebrating my birthday, because at that time, it was the seventh year of me. And sorry if I'm talking a little low because I'm sick right now. Um, then, yeah. It's, I'm not really good with words, but here I am. I'm trying to get this done. I'm trying to let you guys know how it could be difficult, but in a week or so, you'll fit right in. But at that time, 7th grade, I was in a D&D club. I'm a beginner at D&D. I was a beginner at D&D. Not fun time, fun weekend, but don't know what happened to the club. Probably, probably shut down. Um, probably angry parents and stuff. But yeah, man, I graduate. I saw my friends go to high school. Then this is where I met Sam. Sam was just like a YouTuber, just like me but here's the thing he was the best i'm saying the best darn friend i have ever known and heard from but not good as noah now now i met this girl named sarah sarah was a chill girl but sometimes she's like a friend that deals with trouble like hey if i'm going through a fight or anything, she deals that for me, and does not make me worry about it, but, I was not open for making this video, but, you know, here I am, probably why I'm not gonna be in school for a while, eighth grade year, eighth grade year was kind of tough, but chill at the same time, like, tough and calming at the same time. Eighth grade was the best. I understand every math question. I understand multiplications, understand division, and I even learned about pi and cash and money in sense. Then, October, we I went as the thriller for Michael Jackson year for the, you know, the werewolf. So, I know you guys are probably going to say I'm a furry, but hey, I ran out of my costume ideas. Then, November was just fine. Ate some turkey, saw my sister, grandma, watching some football. Then, December. December, I say, when I say it was the best year of my entire life. Dude, I had a $100 gift card and everything and so on. And I collected, at the time, McDonald's was doing a, I think, a frosty thing. And I kept getting McDonald's for it. And I got the Golden Nugget. And much that was the best one. I am keeping it in my box as we speak. So, and yeah. January, didn't really do much. Um, we learned math equations, stuff. And yeah, it just went on from there. It's just like your typical normal school year. But I'm saying this, uh, this weekend when it's summer, <sighs> things were not good, and I'll get into it later, but let me finish my 8th grade year. 8th grade was the most best year, like I said before. Yet again, not good with words. So, in February, we went to my friend's birthday party, Noah, as I mentioned to him. He's a rock guy. So, we were over here watching him playing Fortnite, and he was in a tournament. And he almost won. 
he almost won. Bro, pressure aside, he was focused on this game, bro. I'm saying it might be a ripoff of Call of Duty, but Call of Duty is my type of game, not some ripoff Call of Duty cartooning, no good skin ripoff of it. But, anyways. <sighs> March, my birthday. Then, it was, it was good hanging out with family, eating cake, but it was my last since my fucking dad says I'm not, I'm not old enough to get a birthday cake no more. Then, it's great. Yeah, I was like, I was super hyped that it was almost summer. It's summer. It's right around the corner. I'm like, oh my god, I got to, I'm gonna do all my work and all of this test and all that stuff. Then, April, April was kind of the worst month uh, in my opinion. As you know, on Twitch, I showed my cat Shadow. She's a black cat. And she was the best cat. Not gonna lie. All year round, she was the best. But, April 30th, she ran away. She broke the screening, and I didn't get to see her again. We're, we're still finding her. So, yeah. It's not very a great year. I talked to a counselor about it. She says, yeah, probably, hopefully you find your cat. I went from there. Then, May. The month of summer. The month of summer. I'm saying. I was hype. I'm like. <laughs> so hyper. Then me drinking energy drink at 3 a.m. But hey. It was a good month. Um, probably I mentioned why I'm not in school. But yet again. I'm just sort of throw, but that's not the reason why I'm not in school. Uh, we'll get into that part in a little bit, but for now, let's focus. Yes, there was tests. I had to do math. Every single test was thrown at me, for, and I think I have an I had an a hundred on one of them, but never, I never got to see it. But then my teacher planned out an NDSU. I like to go on a trip to visit it, then, excuse me, my throat, anyways, then, we, she's like, oh, what's your favorite candy, I'm like, um, I don't really have a favorite candy, but if it's really, if I had to, I would go with some Reese's, Reese's all year round, but, I'm not going to say, I'm not always the smartest guy. Never. But, as you guys know, I'm going to be bringing this very soon, but, I'm like, oh yeah, it's cho uh, Cherry Coke. Um, then, I'm hanging out with some friends at recess. <laughs> um, this girl named Ace, she was the best friend. Very best, not better than Sam and Noah. I can guarantee you that, but. I got starting to know her, but since the whole incident that happened took place there. But, all of that aside, I can tell you what really happened. So, it was a morning. It was a morning. Actually, this was coincidence, because this happened, like, yesterday. So, then, we, me, and Noah and Sam, we weren't exactly friends. At that time, but me and Noah, we talked to the principal. He's like, "Oh, no, I uh, like eye contact. No, even talking, block him. Everything. I'm gonna go talk to his mom because this should not be allowed in the school because he was cussing and putting up gang signs and bad language. And yeah, I can see why he doesn't want us to talk to him. So at that time, one day, one day, we didn't even talk at all. Then." Are you guys are ready? This cause this could change my life. Or this can change my career I've been working with for my whole life. It was a morning. I was so excited to go to the NDSU. Then 
of course, I had to be in contact with him because me and him have the same class. We have like three classes together, and it was very hard to not make contact with. So then at recess time, it, oh, I could say, I can tell a million lies or issues or anything. I don't know what it's called no more. But my teachers, I love my teachers as well. But before I say it, but as I was like waiting for recess, I didn't really talk to him. He's like, why are you looking at me like that? I'm like. I'm trying to not talk. Then I'm trying to open the door to recess because at that time it was almost there, and the teacher, the coach, was oh could have had unlocked the door, but not really. So then we kind of had in contact. He's like, "Yo, run your pockets." I'm like, "Dude, I don't have the key to that gym. I am not one of those dudes that like keeps begging." Jim early. Oh, hey, thank you for the key. I'm just gonna sell it. Dude, no, that's not. I didn't even have at the time. I didn't even have the key. But I could really name a bunch of lies right now, but I'm just gonna stick with the truth. You can even ask Sam. He's a YouTuber. Go check him out. He does um, like Assassin Creed. He does Walking Dead. But He's like, you'll run your pockets. I'm like, dude, yet again, don't have the key to the gym. Because if I did have the key to the gym, I would have to unlock it by now. But as Sam, he goes to gym early. He goes to gym. So I usually go to gym early because apparently I asked the, uh, the prince, the, the coaches, my bad, to, like, if I can go early, then yeah, then. He's like, you're running your pocket. I'm like, dude, I, yet again, I don't want you to check my pockets. He reached my pockets. I'm like, dude, I swear. He's like, yo, what did I do? What did I? Bro, I said, you checked my pockets without permission. And keep in mind, I had my earbuds and phone at that time. So then I was really mad because, bro, I started throwing, I started throwing fist at him, I'm like, dude, you don't do that, and he startled me, then I started beating him up, then, as I can tell, this probably might not fix a relationship, but that's how it went down, because I wasn't thinking straight, but I kept beating him up, he went to go get a coach, then I had to sit there with the coaches. I'm like, yo, why, he's like, yo, why are you hitting him? I'm like, dude, he kept checking my pockets. He's like, well, you don't do that. I'm like, dude, if, you, if I was, no, if you were checking someone else's pocket, you would, well, if someone else's was checking your pocket, you would get done the same thing. So I kept talking to him. He's like, don't make contact, anything, gym. Then it was gym time. I was at outside because it was a nice sunny day. It was a very, then... Sam's like, oh, yo, I'm sorry, all that stuff, and the coach was looking at us like we were fixing the relationship, then I could have had forgot about it and not bring up anyone, because I'm not usually that type of guy, but uh, it was mostly Sam's, because after Jim, Noah hated him, Noah went to go get the principal, because we were talking again. Then he was in a cool down like zone. Like he was like angry at that time. Cause then <sighs> this is this is pretty upsetting, but I'm glad I'm going through my whole year um sharing this moment with you guys. This is actually a pretty a hard moment for me to like handle because I by the time like I'm doing this video. It's almost summertime. I got summer early, but hey, I haven't told you yet. I got s the principal. We were the teacher's idea was to, like to go talk to a counselor and talk it out until like nothing was awkward anymore. Then, as I was sitting down, 
I bumped into the principal. He's like, oh, hey, I was actually going to come looking for you. I'm like, oh, my Lord, am I going to get in trouble? He's like, um, is the conference room, like, available? The teacher's like, yes. And, well, it wasn't a pleasure talk because we were trying to say that, hey, we're cool. And he's like, I don't, whoa. He said, it's, it's not all right because what did I say? No contact, no nothing. I'm like, dude, okay, I'm that type of person, like, I forgive people easily, but I know I beat up Sam, but I was not thinking straight at that time. So then, we were over here, like, oh, no, we want to become friends, we want to become friends. Then, I texted my mom, she's like, yo, what's going on? I'm like, I'm getting in trouble with Mr. Holder, and all that stuff, then... She's like, what? Let me get on the phone right now. So then, either Sam went back to class or he just sat there with Noah. So then, yes, but. This was a hard moment for me. And guys, if you're watching this, a couple of friends from my school. I just want to know I miss you guys. I'm not gonna, I'm gonna keep in touch with you all times. But back to the story, I, I was, well, they were gone. I kept texting my mom. It's like, she's like, give me the phone on with the principal. I'm like, dude, I'm not trying to, you know, get more in trouble. So then he kept checking on me. He's like, yeah. then I heard him outside. He's like, Sam, you can go back to class. I'm like, dude, and I thought at that time was unfair. Because why didn't I go back to class? That, that day I was going to make chocolate chip cookies for my cooking class. But no, I had to get in trouble. So then... <sighs> I sat in the principal's office. Um, he looked at the footage where, like, I kept being up Sam. Then... He's, he got in contact with my mom. I'm going to try to play this as smoothly as I can and try to, like, you know, try to role play as them. But here it goes. Ring, 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 ring. My mom says yes. Principal's like, hey, this is, uh, blank. Oh, I know I have said his name, but you guys don't know what school I go to. But, and like, this is blank, um, at the blank at sc uh, middle school. I need. Um, there was an incident today with involving some fighting. My mom's my mom's really cool. She doesn't even tell that girl I was texting her or something. She's like, mm hmm. She's like, well, can you come down here and like we're gonna have like a talk and I'll show you the footage if if you want to. She's like, sure. Let me get my stuff and I'll be on my way. <sighs> then. My mom was here. She had cool. She was not mad at me or anything. I sat through here because at that time I had, well, very, I have guests over right now. They they don't live very good, so we kind of got them in. <sighs> this is really hard for me. The teacher was going to, well, the principal was going to give me a, another chance on Monday. See how that goes. But guess what? He changed his mind. I got suspended. For the whole year. I was going to, going to high school. The grades I had were good. That makes up for it. I'm going to high school next year. That doesn't change the fact that I'm going, I'm going to stay in middle school. But yeah, my mom's disappointed. She's like, well, at least you, um, like, you know, you, uh, at least you're not hurt or anything. Because I thought you pushed me to the wall. My back kept hurting at that time. Then, uh, we were in the cars, we were talking, we were just like, listening to Eyes of the Tigers by the Survivors, the Survivors, and then, the Eyes of the Tiger, and then, we just went on from there. I'm like, yeah, I know, it's been a good year, I missed you, I'll miss you, Mr. Holder, um, I'll miss my teacher, so I shook his hand, and I just left the school, then, um, at that time, oh, 
uh, we were like, oh no, what are, what is Dad going to say? Like, then he's in over here at his games. I'm like, oh my god, I know for a fact he's going to be home right now. Because if he is, I'm going to be so nervous to talk into him. So then, yeah, I called it. He, I basically changed it. He was home at that time. He's like, he's like, hey, Miho. And I'm like, hey, Dad. Um, he's like, why are you out of school early? I'm like, it's a pretty funny story. Um, then my mom basically explained it. He's like, well, why didn't he? Why didn't the other kid get in trouble? He was defending himself. Because he also at the time he was calling me a bitch and everything. He kept doing everything. But <sighs> then I'm sorry if I'm saying thing because I'm like very nervous. Like I'm trying to get this off my chest. I'm trying to play this as suitable as possible. Because uh, then uh, yeah, I'm like that's like okay. So I need to bring this up to the student count of the school board because this should not be happening. Then. What else did I know? I got summer early. I'm still going to high school, guys. I just want you guys to know. Friends, Caitlin, Noah, Sam, Amando. Um, we can include Sam, Sam S, Mr. Peep, Mrs. Kendall. I missed you guys. Um, I really want to say I'm very sorry if I want to. If I want to do this, I was not thinking straight, so. At least I had my summer. At least I have. I at least I had a good year. Um, but I'll still miss you guys. Hopefully, you guys are getting answers right for me for not cheating because I used to cheat at senior ten. Then Mrs. Redfield, all my teachers, I miss you. Uh, then yeah, I'm basically gonna be streaming early, not on the time schedule, but probably early. But yeah, this is all what happened to me years and years and years again. In sixth grade year, I actually got into a fight because the kid kept bothering me. The principal was not involved, so I wasn't suspended at the time. So then, yeah. But guys, I miss you. I always miss you. I just want you guys to know that I always miss you. Um, you're you're not leaving my area. You're never, never, never. Then Sarah, um, every every kid I know in my middle school, I missed you. Um, then yeah, it's been a hard time for me to explain, but hey, at least you got to know the story. I might be streaming early. I have summer early, um, because I got into a fight. Then I should make this whole to a whole podcast, but don't even know how to do that. But anyways, I will see you guys in the next videos. Cheers.